What's going on guys, Duncan here, back with Zerbal the Breaker Season 5 video, and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the event schedule that I was actually uh, posted uh, a couple days ago, but just in case some of you guys missed it, I'm going to be over it, and uh, when we will be uh, expecting new content. So if you guys don't know, this is the current banner that we got on the 29th, and it is going away on March 15th, and on the 15th, we will be getting a new banner so yes we are getting a new banner uh basically next week so not this friday the next coming friday and uh, the spirit siphon volume 5 that's going to be uh, up and running uh, until the end of the uh, season and then the head start campaign is also going to be ending next week so that means uh the double the uh 20 zenny the 20 spirit and the two times experience is going to be ending on march 15th so for those of you that are trying to grind survivor levels or raider levels for goku black definitely make sure you're taking advantage of that as much as you can now because that head start campaign is going to be ending uh in a little bit so the current event is actually going to be lasting for a fairly long time this is still going to be going on even past the 15th but they will be updating the shop on the 15th for people that are um curious about that so at this point what i'm trying to do for y'all is basically speculate what they're going to do next and if you have or have not yet summoned on this banner uh broly's banner whether you should uh save or skip i um have showcased broly super attack i have showcased both of his passives i'm still um i think battle instincts is going to come out tomorrow or today i'm not sure but a lot of stuff is on the backlog you'll, you'll you'll see things come out gradually personally i think you could absolutely skip this broly banner um it's really just one transfer you could just summon to get the transfer and peace out i think that's totally fine but uh, let's look at some of the transfers that we are going to be getting for the season just to remind y'all that, you know, there is more on the horizon, right? So again, these are the eight transfers that we are going to be getting in Season 5. Uh, we already got full power Super Saiyan Broly. Next, we have Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. Rage Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. Super Saiyan Gogeta. Uh, base Goku Black. Rose. Vegito and Vegito Blue are the transfers of choice. We've gone over the super attacks and we've gone over um, some of the skills that would be coming. But uh, if it is going to be Trunks, I want you guys to see the skill that he is bringing to the game. Just because I feel like some of y'all don't realize how cracked this skill is going to be. So this is the refrigerator skill. This is going to be on either probably Super Saiyan. I don't know. It's going to be one of the Trunks. Either Super Saiyan 2 or Rage. But essentially what this skill is going to allow uh, you to do is that each uh you know survivor has access to a fridge that can be spawned one time during a game and any survivor can come up to the res uh, refrigerator and drink a soda and recover some d change i imagine this isn't going to refill uh the same amount of d change that uh typical sodas do just because this is a summoning summonable like soda machine which is absolutely really really cracked but this, you know, is still probably going to be very, very good. And again, I mentioned a whole team using this, right? And in terms of other active skills, I think it's really just key sense, which honestly doesn't really seem that great. Uh, you'll just be able to key detect uh, the raider, which you could really just do with King Kai's skill, which is uh, telekinesis, which is a lot better. But in terms of super attacks, I will go over that uh, briefly. This is uh, Crimson Edge, which is uh, Rosé's move. Looks really, really good. It looks fast and is a quick melee combo. Final Explosion we already have in the game. A finish Breaker is going to be Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. This super attack doesn't look that great, so you could always uh, get it with Spirit if you do not want to pull it. Uh, if you just want to get the character, uh, we already seen Gigantic Roar. This is Split Finger Shot on Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Uh, and this is Black Kameha on base Black. This seems very, very fast. Seems to be the same speed as God Kameha, um, and Motionless, honestly. It seems very, very quick. And I think, uh, it is going to be a super type to watch out for. Now, Super, uh, or is this Super? Yeah, this is Super Black. This is probably just, like, Super Kameha, but just, you know, Black uh but yes that is going to be that and this is super black Kamameha rose and this i imagine is more like a times 10 kaioken Kamameha or like a perfect Kamameha type move so it's going to be dealing a little bit more damage i imagine on that 
And that is not it. Because the last super attack I believe we're getting. This is going to be the final com uh, Kamehameha. And unless, I don't think there's anything for Trunks. I think I don't think Trunks is getting any new supers, uh, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like he is. That kind of stinks. But uh, now that we know uh, the super attacks, uh, the active skills, and uh, the transfers that we're getting, let's look over the passive skills. So uh, these are Broly, Saiyan Savagery, and Battle Instincts. Moon Speed Ice, I actually don't know who this could be on. This could be on anybody. Memories of Battle. Um, I'm actually not sure who this could be. Restores cooldown time for Dragon Age Super Barrier Breaks. This seems very good. Honestly, this could be Goku Black. Because Goku Black references like remembering Goku's fights and whatnot. This is definitely going to be a Goku Black skill. It reduces damage you take from close range attacks while Dragon Change. This seems absolutely cracked. It's going to reduce uh, all melee damage. I've come for you. Restores your barrier uh, when you Dragon Change. This isn't that bad. It's not that great. I would just rather use Auto Barrier. Uh, but it looks like this is going to be Gogeta. This is going to be Trunks. Uh, it says, releases a small fridge from a capsule once per match. Place one uh, when you can't Dragon Change to do a drinks around the fridge. And increase Dragon Change, cooldown time, recovery. Any of your allies can use the fridge as well. This appears after a little while. Uh, then Key Detection, which is an interactive skill of Parallel Fusion. It's probably going to be uh, Vegito Blue. Increases attack damage during uh, Dragon Change at the cost of more limit. Consume over time and uh, by super attacks. Interesting. So you're going to be dealing uh, more damage, but your limit is going to go way faster. And this buff does not apply to uh, level 4s or super transfers. Warrior Hope uh, increases limit gauge around uh, base number of allies removed from the game. Reduces limit gauge amount if there aren't. So basically, you get a buff to your limit. If a lot of people are dead, if a lot of people are alive, you get a debuff, actually. So, since they just gave us Broly, um, I think they're going to be thematic here. Um, this is what I am speculating. They could either do, because keep in mind, guys, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven transfers left, right? And if they're dropping this um, banner, let's pull it up really quick, sorry. They're dropping this banner on the 15th. We still have April. And we still have May. And they have to divide out seven transfers between those two months. Because, uh, give me one sec, guys. Let, let's, uh, did Chrome not pull up? Sorry, I was just talking to myself. Though. Yeah, so this banner is going away June 11th. And typically, this is when a season is going to end, right? So June 12th is when season six, I imagine, would start. So keep that in mind. Let's take another peek at the schedule here. So March 15th, uh, that we're probably going to get maybe one more transfer or two more. I don't think we're getting a uh, banner with three transfers on it this season. I don't see it happening since we only have seven transfers left. So I think we're getting one more transfer this month. And then I think we might get to in April. And then I think we might, uh, you know, so we could get another two in April and then we get uh the last uh batch in May to hold us over until June so that's what I'm thinking guys in terms of like how they would dish it out and who they would pair together it's a little tough to kind of say just because it's it just like I don't know they could do Trunks and Goku Black they could do Goku Black and Rosé I don't think they would do that because I feel like that's kind of blowing your load a little bit so I feel like they might do Super Saiyan 2 Trunks and then Base Black and then Rage Trunks and then Goku Black with it. And then honestly, they might just drop Gogeta next. I have a feeling just because Gogeta is the one transfer out of all of these that doesn't really fit with any of the, uh, the rest. So they might just drop him as kind of like a filler transfer, even though he is very cool and very hype. Super Saiyan Gogeta is very iconic. But, uh, obviously, he's not in uh, the theme of the Super Trunks saga, right? He's kind of like the Beast Gohan Orange Piccolo, kind of just like the random uh, kind of addition to the season, right? So, um, that's my speculation of how they're going to uh, go about it. Let me in the comments below uh, how you guys think they're going to dish out the transfers. Again, we, I think we're only going to get... So, we, we got Broly, and it's still March. Uh, we're we got Broly in, uh, you know, February, technically, so it's March. I think we're getting one more transfer, then I think we're getting four. Um, let me, am I stupid? So if we get one more this month, that'd be six. 
Yeah, so they would have to do two next month in April, and then four in May, or four in April, and then two in May. I feel like they're probably going to do four in April, and then two in May, just because typically they give us the least amount of transfers, to, uh, transfers towards the end of the season. So that's my speculation. In terms of the order of the drops, uh, I imagine... I don't know, dude, because last time they gave us Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta before base. So it's very possible uh, they give us Super Saiyan Blue Vegito before base because that's what they did with Gogeta. So who the hell knows? Who the hell knows in terms of the order? But, um, you know, you guys can speculate the pairings and the orders in the comments below. I'll leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. And uh, let me know if you guys like uh, me covering these event schedules. I think it's just a good way of keeping you guys in a loop. I know it's very yappy. But, again, I feel like it's just a good way to uh, keep you guys in the loop. Are you guys mindful of uh, your currency, when you should be grinding, uh, you know, how much time you have to grind, when events are ending, stuff like that, when new shop items are coming. Uh, yeah, with that being said, boys, that's going to be the video. I'll uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, have fun. Peace out, dude.